means what are the types of headache the broadly international headache society has classified headache into three types the first is the primary headache second is the secondary headache third is the headache due to the cranial and the facial pains among these three groups the most common type of headache that is 80 percent it accounts for the 80 percent of the headache is the primary headache so those headache which are not primary headache they belongs to the secondary headache so and the third is the cranial nerve and the facial pain now coming to the primary headache the primary headache are of the following types the first is the most common which by which the patient present to the clinician is the migraine headache the second is the tension type headache but actually the tension type headache is the most commonest among the general population but they doesn't come to the clinician and the third group of headache is the headache due to trigeminal autonomic cephalgia so trigeminal is the fifth now the word itself indicates autonomic means autonomic nervous system will be activated and cephalgia means headache so these patients usually have one-sided headache along the distribution of the trigeminal now that is the fifth now along with that autonomic symptoms it can be any of the following these autonomic symptoms are redness of the eyes or the lacrimation from the eyes or they can have nasal block or they can have running of the nose they can have redness of the cheek they can have swelling of the eyelids so any of these feature if the patient is having with the facial symptoms they are called as trigeminal autonomic cephalgias so trigeminal autonomic cephalgias are the severe painful type of headaches which is further divided on the following types that includes the cluster headache it can be cluster headache then it includes the sunct that is sunct and the suna s u n c t sunct means short lasting unilateral neuralgic headache with conjunctival tearing and congestion then another two group is paroxysmal hemicrania the name itself indicates paroxysmal means it will be short lasting and hemicranial headache and the duration will be between 2 to 15 minutes and the last is the hemicrania continualis hemicranial headache with type general autonomic cephalgia and it will be continuous that is it lasts for three months now these are the primary headaches now what do you understand by secondary headache and then secondary headache what happens secondary to certain lesions that is there will be some structural lesion in the brain either due to tumor or infection so it can be broadly divided into three types that is called as pin the diagnosis p i n pin means it can be due to pressure changes in the brain so this pressure changes can be either due to raised ict pressure or raised ict pressure can be due to any reason brain tumor infection hemorrhage or it can be due to reduction in the intracranial pressure also can produce headache and i is infection that is any infection of the brain it can be infection of the brain covering or it can be infection of the brain parenchyma or any other infection of the sinuses also can produce headache now last is the n is neoplastic neoplastic means malignancy so any tumors of the brain either in the skull or in the membranes or the brain parenchyma or the tumors that is av malformation all can produce headache so all this comes under secondary group of headache for which investigation is mandatory to differentiate this type of headache from primary headache because they also can present with severe headache the third group is the cranial and facial pain so among that the cranial and facial pains mean facial is usually supplied by the fifth now that is trigeminal now seventh now and even the ninth and the tenth now so any irritation of this nerves also can have headache among them the commonest is we know that is trigeminal neuralgias trigeminal neuralgias are the electric shock like sensation a person feels mainly in the trigeminal distribution it can be any one of the distribution because trigeminal nerves have ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular dis distribution and this will be shock like sensation usually we see in the elderly people and it will be exacerbated by intake of food so these are the trigeminal neuralgic type of headache if like this headache if present in the young patient we should be serious because there can be other structural lesion in the brain stem where the fifth now origin from the brain so in this patient when we examine the face there will be loss of sensation in patient with trigeminal neuralgia in 
young people that is called as atypical trigeminal neuralgia but in typical trigeminal neuralgia examination will be absolutely normal.